Steve Who Bannon. is behind 2025? And Steve Miller. And many former Trump officials who held high positions in the Trump administration who now want to be in power again. This plan, which is 900, almost 900 pages long, covers 30 departments of government, and it is written by the people who are in those positions of power under Trump, in the one or the two or the three positions. They've been in those positions, they know what's in their departments, and they know how they want to take it all apart. They also include lawyers. This is a very lawyer-driven plan. Nothing against lawyers, some of them are my friends, but these lawyers, they're aligned with the conservative legal groups, the Federalist Society, and the Federal Society isn't even considered radical enough for the people behind Project 2025. These are the lawyers who have been behind overturning Roe, the anti-gay bills. <laughs> Stephen Miller wrote the plan that put all those children and families in detention centers when Trump was there uh, at the border. Hey. All right? Hey. And the anti-climate administration and lawsuits. Hey. So don't be fooled. This is the Republican plan for taking control in America. And it calls for a de facto dictatorship which America has never known. We have never seen this. This is new for all of us. In fact, the vision is a little bit more what we would consider an oligarchy, right? Which a small group of people have written a methodical plan to hijack the reins of government. So they have a radical plan. They have a 180 day playbook to systematically, systematically, dismantle the structure and the higher order of decision making in all 30 departments of government, department by department. They lay out a plan to rewrite the rules by which we are governed. Okay, some of the highlights, right? They call for the reversal or elimination of the reshuffling of key departments of government. So we're talking about things like They'd like to get rid of the Department of Public Education. Well, they can't quite do that, but instead, they want to put all the money into the private sector and ask for it to go to Christian organizations with a Bible-driven Which would agenda. be illegal. And the Heritage Foundation is working very hard. They're leading mm -hmm. us administratively, organizing it, and recruiting people to make it happen. That's why we are here today. We are here to declare the Heritage Foundation a hazardous foundation to declare it and Project 2025 toxic and very dangerous for America and our democracy. 